this nation on earth would agree that depriving children of food and water is acceptable. I'm here because I'm a human being and anyone with a conscience believes that a civilian population should never be punished in this way. It's collective punishment, it's a war crime. And unless we stop it, unless we get out there and say something, it's going to end up with thousands losing their lives. Can you put into words how you feel about the loss of life on both sides? Every life is precious. But the root of this violence is the occupation. It's not complicated. It's a settler colonial state imposing apartheid and oppression on an indigenous people. And that's wrong everywhere for anybody. And it has to be true that all the Palestinians want is freedom. And we must support that in equal rights. And I stand up here, I'm so pleased to see so many of my uh, brothers and sisters with big hearts who know the truth. And the Western media has a duty now to tell the truth about what's happening because I am seeing the worst horrors I could ever have imagined. I grew up in the shadow of the Holocaust and we said never again and that means never again for anyone. And I think of anyone, if they have a conscience, get out there and speak and demand your leaders speak. There seem to be, of course, deep divisions on either side, but you've come out today and you were telling me earlier that this is about being a human, a fellow human being. I'm so thrilled to, to be here among my brothers and sisters who can see the truth despite all the propaganda and the lies and the bias and the prejudice that we see in the Western media. It has been, quite frankly, a, a, an appalling week. What would you like to see the UK government do now? They must demand a ceasefire. They must demand that Israel stop bombing children and stop burying them under rubble. They must demand a humanitarian corridor so aid and medical supplies can get in. They must demand they have electricity. They must demand that there is food and water. This is, a, uh, this is an emergency now, a crisis, and people must rise to it. Thank you so much for your time. of dignity, freedom-loving people, friends of Palestine, friends of Palestine, here in London and all over the UK and the world, free